Are you new to manifestation and you want some tips to make your manifestations flow with ease? then this is the video for you. First of all, welcome to The Chic Life, where we talk about overcoming your negative thoughts so you can manifest your dream life and get into ease, flow, and abundance. So in today's video, I wanna share some tips geared towards beginners, new to manifestation and law of attraction. I do have a video I just shared about how to manifest, so that has my three-step process for manifesting anything you want. This is, that was the first video in my manifestation mini series, and this is video number two, and I have some more coming ahead, so do be sure to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber here. And if you want even more manifestation and law of attraction tips, be sure to join my High Vibe Facebook group using the link in the description box below. All right, so you're new to manifestation, you kind of have an idea of the steps, but you want some tips because you feel like your thoughts are all over the place and you really don't know how to manifest what you want. So I wanna share my five top tips for those new to manifestation, and let's just jump into those. So the first thing you need to know is that we are always manifesting. So a misconception I feel like I hear a lot of people say is, oh, I wanna manifest a free cup of coffee, so now I'm going to use law of attraction. The thing is, we're always manifesting. The law of attraction, like attracts like, is always in play. So think of it kind of like law of attraction is like gravity. So saying now I wanna start using law of attraction to manifest a free cup of coffee is kind of like saying, okay, tomorrow I'm going to use gravity to walk to work. Like, Every day you're using gravity to walk wherever it is you're going, whether it's to work or somewhere else. Gravity is always in play. It's just how life works, and law of attraction is similar to that. So whether you're conscious of it or not, you are manifesting all the time. Everything in your life now has come to you through your thoughts, feelings, and ultimately your vibration that you put out in the world because everything is energy and your vibe is attracting a certain kind of thing to your life. This is why it's so important to have high vibe habits. This is why high vibe habits and getting into positive thinking is one of the key things I work with my one-on-one -on -one clients on and something that I talk about all the time on my Instagram posts and in my YouTube videos because it is just so, so important. And I'm gonna give you a couple more tips on how to leverage the fact that we're always manifesting and make it work towards your advantage. This actually leads me to my next point, which is that if you have a better vibe, you're going to manifest better things. So like I was saying, you want to have high vibe habits and get into positive thinking because that will elevate your vibe. And when your vibe is elevated, you attract better things. It's sort of like if you've ever noticed when you've been like really frustrated or angry or sad for a period of time, and it just seems like things are getting worse and worse, like you're starting to attract bad relationships, bad friendships, maybe it feels like bad things are happening and it's just kind of like accumulating and growing momentum until there's some sort of breaking point and your vibe and your thoughts and your actions actually change. That's because when you get into that low vibe state, you start to attract more low vibe things. It's like attract likes, it's a law of attraction, it's just the way it works, and like I said earlier, we're manifesting all the time. So when you're in that energy, that's just what you're going to attract. However, the good news is that you have the ability to change your vibration through your thoughts and actions and energy, and you can do that by adopting high vibe habits. I really like to practice gratitude. I love to move my body, like dancing, working out, taking walks, going out in nature. Notice how when you do these things, you actually feel better. And when you feel better and when you feel good, maybe you've also noticed that when you do feel good, you attract better things. You start making better friends. Things start going your way. That's because again, law of attraction, it's just the way it works. When you're in that good high vibe state, you're going to start attracting better things to you. And that includes your deliberate manifestations, things that you're deliberately trying to call into your reality. So if you are deliberately trying to manifest something in particular, be sure that you are doing some high vibe things and trying to get into a good feeling state because that's just going to make your manifestation come to you so much more easily. Also along the lines of the fact that we're manifesting all the time, your thoughts create your reality. So it's really important to get a handle on your thinking and be really conscious of your thoughts. And if they tend to be more negative, you do wanna do some self work to try to get them more positive. Now, I'm not saying I want you to do like frou-frou BS positive thinking, but there's really some self work you can do to convert your negative thoughts and get into a more positive mindset. If that sounds like BS, 
Trust me, I used to be a super negative thinker, so I can attest that it is in fact possible. I used to be very like glass half empty, although I said I was a realist, not a pessimist. But now I'm so much more of an optimistic thinker, and because I've changed the way that I think about things, I attract better things so much more easily to my life, and you can do the same thing too. Okay, so the third thing is related to positive thinking, but in a very specific way, and that is you wanna focus on what you do want, not on what you don't want. So I feel like we tend to be raised in a very like fear-based thinking. A lot of people, or a lot, at least a lot of people that I talk to, so we're very much focused on what we don't want to have happen and how we don't want things to go. It's so much more easy for us to think about all the ways something could go wrong or all the things that we don't want to have actually happen. But this can accidentally manifest what we don't want to have happen into our reality. So it's really important to start converting your thoughts, start noticing your thoughts if you're thinking, oh, I don't want to fail my driver's license test. Try to replace that with I would love to pass my driver's license test. Instead of thinking, I don't wanna stay single forever, start thinking about, I do want to get into a loving and committed relationship. This should be a lot easier than getting into positive thinking just because it's kind of looking at the flip side of something. And the thing is, some people will say that focusing on wanting will create resistance. However, this focusing on what you want is sort of like a step in the right direction because if you're only thinking about what you don't want, then you're not even ready to focus on your manifestation and you shouldn't even have to worry about creating lack. So just a heads up, focusing on what you want is a way that can create resistance with your manifestation, but if you are a negative thinker and if you think a lot in terms of what you don't wanna have happen, think of this as the first step to getting to where you ultimately wanna be with working through your manifestations. And do check my other video about manifestation mistakes, but I would say, First, if you're thinking about what you don't want, definitely think about what you do want, and then we can talk about the whole creating lack thing. I don't want to go into that because that's a manifestation mistake, so check out my next video and I'll talk about that more, but for now, think about what you do want to have happen. Okay, my next tip is that emotions and feelings mean so much more than your thoughts. So whilst you do want to think in terms of what you do want to have happen, simply thinking I do want a loving and committed relationship is a lot different than feeling the energy of how excited you'll be about having that loving committed relationship. Manifestation, law of attraction, it's all about the energy and the vibration you're putting out. And your thoughts aren't necessarily enough to put out the right vibration. For example, say you're walking down the sidewalk and you happen to pass that kid who used to tease you in middle school and you have scarring memories from this experience, you are really not excited to see this person, but you wanna be polite, so you say, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. You're saying it's good to see you, but inside you feel really bad. Maybe it's triggering some bad memories for you. Maybe you feel scared, anxious, nervous. Maybe you're angry with them, but whatever it is, it's probably a good chance that you're feeling a negative vibe towards this person. Well, a law of attraction is all about vibes, not thoughts. So it can see through what you're saying and feeling. So that's why it's so important to really get into the energy of the thing that you want. And I do talk about that in my video about how to manifest. So if you haven't seen that, do check that out. But just some quick tips on getting into the energy is basically just sort of daydream or use manifestation techniques to think about how it would feel to have this thing in your life and get into the energy of how excited and happy you are when you get that thing. I mean, you really wanna manifest something, don't you? How cool will it be when you have it? Think about that, feel it, and that's really gonna draw your manifestation to you. My fifth tip is that you can't force a manifestation, and I wanna share this one because I see so many people saying, I'm trying so hard to manifest, I'm doing everything right, I'm doing this, I'm scripting every day, and it's all about the action. And as a type A personality, I totally appreciate that because for a lot of us, the way that we've gotten the things in our life is through hard work and effort. But manifestation doesn't work in effort. In fact, I just attended a workshop with Abraham Hicks in San Francisco and one of the quotes I took away was they said don't assert attract so what they're saying is 
Don't try to assert and manipulate your manifestation into coming. Attract it by getting into that vibe, like we were just talking about, getting into the feeling and the energy of having the thing, raising your vibe and feeling good and attracting that thing to you. You're not going to be able to do it through effort. You're not going to be able to do it by scripting 50,000 times a day. The more you script doesn't necessarily mean the better, unlike if you were trying to build a house. The faster you work on the house, the faster you put walls up, the more effort you put into it, the faster your house is going to get built. Manifestation, law of attraction is not like that. Manifestation and law of attraction is more like you put your order in with the chef at a restaurant and you have to kind of sit back and let the restaurant staff do its thing. When you are over scripting, over doing manifestation techniques, trying to force your manifestation, what you're actually doing is getting in the way. Like it'd be like you going back to the back of the kitchen and trying to help the chef cook their things. And it's really just going to kind of mess up your order and you may not get what you actually want or you may not get anything at all, at least not quickly. So remember to get into the feeling, sit back and let your manifestation come to you. Okay, so I'd love to hear from you what you are trying to manifest. Remember to comment as though you already have the thing you want. Drop a comment below. Stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be all about manifestation mistakes, things that you're doing that are blocking your manifestation from coming to you. Along these lines, I will be doing a free live masterclass on how to overcome your manifestation blocks. So do sign up for that using the link in the description box below. Thanks again so much for watching. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.